Oh. Yeah. We're gonna make bass on the half shell. Set to go. Here's your shot. Holy fish, bud. <laughs> I'm Sean Ritter. I love the outdoors, hunting, fishing. I work a hectic, not traditional job, and I love being a dad. This is my outdoor journey and how I manage my time. I'm here to help you rethink your time and join me, Return to Wild. Is that fish pretty cool? You asked daddy to bring you home fish, so we brought home a fish, huh? Even though what daddy brought home, I normally wouldn't. Obviously being a bass angler, it's like frowned upon. We don't eat bass. All right, let's stop. pause for one second here. Why don't people eat bass? That's the big question. They're literally the largest of the sunfish family. Well, some people say they taste bad, they taste muddy. Well, like any fish species, where they come from is gonna determine somewhat a bit of what they taste like. You know, you are what you eat situation. And I don't know where bass got the bad rap of things like that. I think they're delicious table fare. No reason to not eat them. Like there's literally nothing that says they're bad for you, they're not good. They're high in protein content, they're super lean fish, they're good flaky. I don't know where it came from. But anyway, let's get back to it. But uh, I thought I'd try something interesting. Daddy, guys... he's like trying how we trying the fishy. Yeah, Daddy's gonna try something with the fishy. Uh, saltwater guys, redfish specifically do redfish on the half shell. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's skin and scales on down flat on the grill. Just really butter and like a Cajun seasoning or let's all use a Tony Sachere on the top, and you just let it go until it's cooked just right through, and then you take your scraper between the skin and flesh, pull it right off, and you're all set to go. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make bass on the half shell on the grill. You gonna help daddy flay that up? It's gonna be easy because we don't have to like take the skin off or anything. Okay, we how is we got to? All right. So the other thing here too, also, this is literally just the smallest keeple. 14 inches is limit in Wisconsin. This is exactly 14 inches. To me, if I'm gonna eat a bass, it's gonna be that 14, no bigger than 15 inch fish. Just personal preference, I prefer the small ones. I think they taste better. And those bigger ones are your breeders that we want in the system anyway. Um, this fish also, if you notice, I know it's super graphic, sorry. Um, I did bleed it out. No, 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 mine. It's yours? Are you gonna help daddy flay it? I think that any fish, if you're gonna consume it, it tastes better if you bleed it out, which is essentially breaking that area between their gill and then you just leave them in the water and they bleed out and that way it gets all of the impurities and all the stuff out of the flesh so you have the cleanest, purest, perfect flesh. By the way, if you wanna see this guy out fishing for the first time, did you go fishing with daddy this summer? That video is posted. All right, we're gonna flame up. Flavor. All right, let's flay him up. You gotta be careful though, because the sharp knife is very sharp, all right? So I start by folding up the fin. Make a decision. Head. Come down on the fins. And just run right along the backbone. Don't put any sharp knife, okay? You just wash your hands and move out of daddy's way, okay? Poke it right through. Thank you. See fin to fin. Thanks for the help, bud. And then just easily, see here, fall right along the ribs. There you go, perfect. We're gonna leave the skin scales on. That's the half shell, and we'll just flip around, do the same thing to the other side here. There you go. Skin scales on, on the half shell. We get rid of that, and we're gonna cook. All right, it's pretty simple. On the half shell, again, you got your fish. Lay them out. The classic Tony Sachere. Just sachere them up real good. Again, this idea from redfish. You could really do it with just about any fish. You just lay your butter over the top. 
a little more because why not? And we just take fish, skin, scale still on, lay them directly over hot heat. We'll let that start to cook. As soon as it starts to peel up and you start to see kind of a bit of the cooking action happening along, you know, I see it kind of see it turn white and stuff and start to curl up a bit. Then we'll close the lid, let everything finish off and give it a couple minutes. All right, so this point I'm talking about, you can see it's set to go. That's when you take the lid, shut her down, let it sit. All right, so we're finished up. This is the simple point where you just literally take your spatula, you put it between the skin of the fish and the flesh. I had to give it a little help there because it's a smaller fish. Put it down, second one. Again, I'm using these pit paws, just kind of help me out here, but see here, grab it right, boom. Clean fillet comes off, lays down. You see this left, skin, laying on the grill, fish, cooked perfectly. So that is how people do redfish in the half shell. I showed you bass on the half shell. Just don't tell any of my fellow bass anglers that I cooked up some bass, but it's gonna be delicious. And coming up next, we're gonna take a look back at some of the previous episodes and uh, tips, tactics, questions that you've had. We're gonna answer all of those in a live yeah. stream show right here on the YouTube channel. So if you got a question about fishing, bass, pike, whatever it would be, be sure to drop it in the comments right now. The jig. Oh, there he is. Hooked up. He's hooked in. himself in the weeds. <sighs> all right, so hooked up again. Nice little guy.